What's good, people? How are you doing? Welcome to another great episode of What the Biz is going on with the world today. People, I want to take a travel back. I want to take a big travel back. Back on time when we was younger. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You remember when we was younger? I mean, some of y'all are still young. But uh, we go kind of shed some light on these movies, these Disney movies. There was a, a crew I found called uh, Just the Nobodies. I found them on TikTok. And yes, today is about money down. TikTok, you dig? And yeah, they are a great uh, intel. Um, this crazy. It's just crazy how they find out this information and the time they took to go look at this information. So please go find follow them um, on TikTok. I am your host, BS. I'm an entertainer. Great, great mother freaking musician. You can check the music out on iTunes, Dirty Harvey on iTunes. But I just love doing these these videos where I, I, I love being shocked. Love watching these videos for the first time. And I love having these videos being watched with you for the first time. I have not seen these videos. And most people might think I'm capping, but I'm not. I'm being serious. You see my head ball? I tell the truth. No hair, so I can't cap. I don't even need a hat for the hair to sit on. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Let me shut up. Anyway, people, please check it out. It's really, really dope. You're going to like this. Uh, some of it is going to be shocking. But you let me know. Comment. Like this video. Share it. Let others see this. The more you like it, the more they see it, the more they're shocked with this news. Like, what the biz is going on here? You know the movie Ratatouille is about a rat named Remy, and he's trying to help his friend Linguini keep a job at a restaurant. But Chef Skinner's always trying to get Linguini fired. Bro, I hate Chef Skinner. So you know at the end of the movie, we see that Chef Skinner finds out that Remy's been the cook the whole time. Yeah. So Skinner realizes that animals are a lot smarter than everybody thinks, and he wants to be able to learn how to communicate and understand what animals are saying. But no one else believes him. So this is where the theory comes in. There's a theory that Skinner meets a guy who is super smart and believes Skinner, and he thinks that he can help Skinner be able to understand what animals are saying. Wait, what? So this guy is actually Charles Muntz from the movie Up. Skinner convinces Charles oh, Muntz what? that animals are a lot smarter than everybody thinks. So Charles Muntz believes him and creates a device so that animals can talk. Wait, like Doug the dog's collar. Exactly. So in the movie Ratatouille, we see that Remy's running through this apartment building. And then we see the dog Doug from Up. The theory is that it's Charles Muntz's apartment because Doug actually belonged to Charles Muntz. And this makes uh... sense how Skinner and Charles Muntz met since they live really... Have you ever heard of the Scooby-Doo theory? Have you heard of the rat? I'm sorry to go past that. That was totally my fault, but that was nuts. Can we watch that again? Okay. Tui theory? No. So we all know the movie Ratatouille is about a rat named Remy, and he's trying to help his friend Linguini keep a job at a restaurant. But chef, have you ever out. heard of the Scooby Doo theory? Daniel, don't you dare ruin Scooby Doo for me. Okay, so there's a. Y'all go check that out. The Ratatouille theory that was crazy. Y'all go check that out. Wow. Just the nobodies doing it. TikTok. Go find them on Instagram. Um. Wow, that was crazy. I would have never, because I liked the movie Up, and I always thought, you know, the dog was awesome, but the old man was crazy. Not the old man with the, you know, little kid that was, you know, helping the mom. I'm talking about months, you know what I mean? Charles Months, I believe. But uh, yeah, that's crazy. Wow. There's a theory that Scooby-Doo was a Russian spy. What? Okay, so everybody knows Scooby-Doo is one of the greatest cartoons ever created, but it was created in 1969 during the time of the Cold War and the space race. What was the space race again? So the space race was a race between the US and Russia to see who could get a human to space first. Okay, I remember this now. But Russia didn't want to risk sending humans, so <laughs> instead they successfully sent dogs to space. So you ever wonder why Scooby's so smart and can do human things like talk and walk on two legs? Why? So the theory is that Russia scientifically created dogs that were highly intelligent so they could send him to space and scooby is one of those dogs but he failed all of his tests and training because of how distracted he got by food typical scooby-doo yeah so instead they sent him to america to be a russian spy dog but he ran away from his russian owners and the u.s found out that scooby was on the loose in the u.s oh my gosh and this is why the original show is called scooby-doo where are you is because he's on the run from the cia well i'm glad you didn't ruin scooby-doo for me you're welcome have you ever heard of the scooby-doo theory what Daniel. Scooby? Damn it! <laughs> oh, wow. That's crazy. So I have a theory about the new Spider-Man No Way Home movie. Wait, what? Do so you know in the show Loki how they call the different versions of Loki variants? Yeah. Which is basically yeah. showing us the multiverse, how there's different versions of the same character.
Okay, so now I've watched Loki and I I'm I'm in like to like the first episodes, like the first couple episodes, because they like been releasing them week by week. But the first episode I loved, but I was looking for more fighting, so <laughs> I fell asleep. But um, I like what I've been seeing so far, so you know what I mean. I tried to hold back on the four twenty, if you know what I mean, and so I could be able to stay up to watch it. You did. Same character. Yeah. And you know how it's rumored that Tobey Maguire is going to be in the new Spider-Man movie? Dude, I'm going to freak out if that actually happens. So this is where the theory comes in. You know how in every single Spider-Man movie, we see Uncle Ben and they show how he dies? Yeah. But in Tom Holland's version of Spider-Man, we've never seen what Uncle Ben looks like. Right. What if Tobey Maguire in Tom Holland's variant timeline was actually Uncle Ben? And when Tom Holland sees Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man for the first time, he's going to get really emotional because he looks... Okay. I Okay. I'm not... I. I that's a lot... And, uh, whoa. Have whoa. you ever heard of the Lion King theory? No. Okay, so everybody knows this. Okay, don't hurt my heart here. Now, Lion King is my number one freaking movie. I don't care about none of y'all out there trying to phase me, trying to test my gangster. Don't you ever test my gangster. You hear me, Scar? You hear me, Scar? But Lion King is my number one favorite movie. I, I pray that they don't give me anything... <sighs> Heavenly Father, this praise. All right. Song Hakuna Matata and how it's about not work. I just pray it's not bad. Okay, that's what I was praying for. That's not bad. Worrying, right? Yeah, it's one of the best songs ever. Right, but what if I told you it's not as happy as you think? And there's a completely different reason why they sing it. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna learn something new today, huh? So the theory is the song is about Timon and Pumbaa worrying that Simba's gonna eat them. What? So in the middle of the song, oh. Simba gets really hungry and he says, I'm so hungry I could eat a whole zebra. And then Timon starts to get really nervous and he right. goes, no zebra here. Then he asks, is there any antelope? And Timon goes, no. Then he asks, any hippo? And Timon goes, nope. Well, I guess it makes sense because Simba's a lion and lions eat other animals. Right, so then Timon and Pumbaa try to convince Simba to eat bugs instead of animals and Timon tells him that it tastes like chicken. How does Timon even know what chickens taste like? Exactly, but Simba eats a bug and he ends up liking it. And then Timon and Pumbaa are really relieved because they know he won't eat them. All the times I've watched Lion King, I never even realized this was in the song. And it kind of ruins the song for me. Oops. Have you ever heard of the Lion King theory? No. Okay, I get it. That sounds like a natural thing that people who trying to save themselves and not trying to be eaten seem like something that they would do, come up with a song to just knock everything off. Hey, Akuna Matata, there's no flashing waves. I mean, I get it. You know what I mean? Like, that was my favorite song. So that's not a bad song. It's not a bad song. Just the nobodies. Not a bad song. Have you heard of the Monsters, Inc. theory? No. So you know how in the first Monsters, Inc. movie, like, all the monsters are scared of humans? Yeah. And remember when Sully and Boo were at that seafood restaurant, and then all the monsters freaked out when they saw Boo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of the monsters said, I tried to get away from it. It picked me up with its mind powers and shook me like a doll. And then another monster said, well, a kid flew right over me and blasted a car with its laser vision. Oh, I remember that. It was like the news interview. Yeah, so oh, this wow. is where the theory comes in. What if the kid that all the monsters are freaking out about is actually Jack-Jack from The Incredibles? Wait, what? You know how oh, in the wow. second Incredibles movie, like, Jack-Jack has a bunch of different powers? One of his powers is teleportation but we never know where he goes so there's a theory that whenever jack jack teleports and disappears he's actually going to the monsters inc dimension wait how does that work well it makes sense because when all the monsters are freaking out on the news they literally describe a kid that has all the powers that jack jack has wait that's crazy jack jack's the only one we know with all those powers combined and you know how they always say like pixar movies are all connected so maybe this that's nuts like this is so awesome for them people who makes all this great animation and create these wonderful cartoons and these stories. And <clears throat> it's just so crazy how they go deep with it. I just love, it. I mean, for a musician, I get it. You know what I mean? For entertainer, cause we look at every second is like, every second in the entertainment world while you're on the stage, every second is like a minute. Like, there's so much that can go on in a minute. That's how we feel, like, every second. So that's why everything has to be, like, in sync, in detail. So I get it. I get why they would go that deep. But that's amazing. Super amazing. This is how Monsters, Inc. connected to The Incredibles. Dude, that just made both movies, like, ten times better. Have you heard of the Monsters, Inc. theory? No. So, people, I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to leave you guys there. But that was super awesome. Go check them out. Um... Um, just the nobodies. 
you can see the you can see the uh, TikTok little thing right there up at the corner or whatever. Um, but yeah, please go check them out. They're awesome. Um, this is very, really, really a what the biz moment. Like the content. Please like and share. Share it, share it, share it. The more you like it, the more people see this. Comment as much as you can. And thank you so much. If you guys have any more videos or links to this. Also, I want to give a shout out to the person that sent me this this was my wonderful baby girl she was like dad you have to check out just the nobodies and i was like i'm gonna check out just the nobodies okay and crazy crazy so i'm watching this the first time with you guys check out more check out more of what the biz thank you so much really really appreciate you guys for tuning in and uh, I'll see you next time on What the Biz. Get up out of this mofo. I'm going to leave up out here. Man, let me just go. Man, get out of here, bro.